the whole program was designed around starting out in the morning and moving towards evening and the songs and the performance sort of took you from the, the beginning of the day through the middle of the day the work day as you're moving towards evening and you're wrapping up the performance and you feel like it's towards the end it just felt really like together the building played off well to the performers and the performers sort of filled the space but with the intimate sound feel of your like right there in front of you it was it was, it was wonderful the most recent part of concert that I went to was themed on wine, women, and song. And Fourth Coast Ensemble loves doing that. They love having a, a theme and then putting all these songs together, most of which I've never heard before. It's clever, it's inventive, but mostly it's just fun. I would say that part of what makes the Parlor Concert so special is that you can be right there, close to the performers, and you can see all of the nuance you know, in their, in their eyes, and you hear it in their voices, and you're only a few feet away. So that makes it so warm and intimate and fun. Song Slam was such a special event because uh, you got to collaborate with a team of a composer as well as a poet. We were so glad to have Lori Laitman involved. It was really neat to just hear more of her story and also see her perform. I played some of her music on different programs uh, that I was collaborating on, and so it was really neat to actually meet her in person. I absolutely hope that Fourth Coast will have another Song Slam next year, and I would love to participate again. When they opened the Logan Center several years ago, um, I, along with Fourth Coast, was always hoping that they would do a concert here because it's just a really big, beautiful space. You have a view of the campus from behind, and it has a great acoustical environment, and you can be right up close to the performers. It's a great space for a concert. What I found fun about the zoo, there are lots of songs about animals, and they really appeal to the child in all of us. And the music somehow inspired the composers to write things that were interesting, reflected our humanity in ways that we could laugh at. One of the things I adore about Fourth Coast is that there's, uh, you're close to the singers, you get a real sense of how they feel about the music and they talk about how they feel about the music. And there was plenty of music today on this program that I had never heard before and that makes me really happy to learn new things too. Help us end our fifth season strong. Help us end our fifth season strong. Support our What a Season campaign. Support our What a Season campaign. Help us end our fifth season strong. Support our What a Season campaign today.